What's up? I'm Gers. Welcome here for episode eight, I believe, of Insomniacs. We had like the cutest ending of an episode ever last week with the radio calls and all that stuff that was going on. So I'm very excited to see kind of how we continue to progress our relationship between our characters here and everything else that goes on because they clearly just love interacting and being with each other. If you like it all, hit that like and subscribe. It do really mean a lot to me. Feel free to stick around for the discussion. Leave any comments about this episode or series. Let's get going though, episode 8. Ah! I've always heard that those jobs aren't as glorious as they seem to be. But I wouldn't know. I'm afraid of water. <laughs> so extra. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You put him to sleep. Peaceful. Yeah, specifically you do though. <laughs> I have never done that, but あ、ロズレディ。<laughs> Yeah, they probably wouldn't want to immediately come back. Oh no, what did you get? <laughs> They're all gonna fall in. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> They're still talking. <laughs> Why didn't you come to us? Yeah. But it got accepted. Mm -hmm. Wow. That just looks normal to me. All the secret meetings. Perfect spot for what? No. Can't just take it over. <laughs> Until it becomes the hangout spot like every single day. <laughs> Wondering what that was. Oh. Wow. She cleaning that thing up. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? It's a little. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, what exactly did you do? Ah, oh. the dinner wrapped up again. Sleeping in his room. Is that for him or his dad? I have so many questions about this family that I'll never get an answer to. Kissing me off. Oh my god, we had a dinger. It's over. Who's this guy? Who is he? You're just gonna leave us in the dark like that? Nice. <laughs> Achieve the goal. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> they both get different joy because they both view him different ways. <laughs> You've done well. Praise yourself. Oh. 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 <laughs> I am the snack god. Same as he is now. Actually, no, a lot happier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can't even imagine him trying to run. <laughs> uh, when he was like four. <laughs> 
足大きくなったのに靴買い替えないで。靴潰して履いて。ごめんさ、頭いいくせに昔からどっか抜けてんのね。靴くらい買えっての。Yeah, about that. なな靴のせい。How are you not picking up on those? <笑>何の話？ああ。That's why we put you there. <laughs> <laughs> she's got like the worst personality, but she's kind of funny as a result. <laughs> we might get a couple. Interested in actually coming is a big difference. <laughs> Just enjoy yourself, dude. And to wear these. <laughs> Look at that smile. Oh, a fucking course. I wasn't even thinking about this. This shit happens in every show ever, dude. Why? I wasn't even thinking of this. Everything gets ruined as a result. You can make this work though. Not for the event, but no, it's oh my. Should have did this more. No, dude, no. Look at the drip though. Can't control everything, dude. Yes. But even so, no, dude, you've done this so much with all their stuff, too. You take it all on, blame himself for everything. I wonder if that has something to do with his mom before the little thing that we saw. Is there a reason he takes the blame for everything? <laughs> Only this time. <laughs> Bro's not even at the station. Did he tell us about like a certain spot before that I'm missing where he could be? Because I feel like he's not even gonna be here. I feel like he like knew and that was like his excuse to get out. That depressed walking in the rain feel. That's so valid. That's good. から俺、いつもこうなんだ。いや、because she heard it, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the first time she realized, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to hide herself. 
Ruin the fucking moment. Hide so that they don't try and make me <laughs> think you want to get out of here. Just like before. I think switch sides though. Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're gonna ruin it. No. <laughs> あの、全部自分のせいだってどうしてあんな。もしや、ほこらに積んであった石を蹴ったとか。言った。そんな好きにそういうの。帰りにおしっこかけると雨降るとか言うな。え?だから。Every time. ごめん。謝らなくていい。ね、言うんだよね、ファン。また流星群来るじゃん。うん。次回リベンジしよう。Everybody <laughs> oh, we, pick up on it. <laughs> we were so close to what we all want and then they just had to completely pull it out from us and i absolutely can't stand that. i'll get up to it or I'll, I'll get into my my dissatisfaction i guess with that uh that scene specifically in the idea of how many times other shows and not specifically this one kind of do that more so i want to focus on some other things regarding not gonna mean this episode and specifically kind of how he took things and went about things i think one of the key things to kind of focus on or or pay attention to this episode or, or just take away from it at least is when bad things happen and i guess you could just use the example of like when one door closes another opens when something like this and the rain completely comes down and ruins everything right when that happens the opportunity that then presented itself and you were able to take away from it ended up making the day probably not as bad as initially was at that moment or as down bad as you kind of felt at that moment, right? It presented you with a new opportunity that probably wouldn't have happened otherwise if this, this event didn't happen. Now, that's not exactly true i guess because you don't know exactly what would have happened if the event ended up going on but you're definitely in a different situation and scenario than what would have occurred probably at least a different location which is why i think it's perfectly okay to kind of just take things in stride and make the most out of what you're given and if you can't and things have to happen you just kind of have to let them be but that's very difficult for a character such as nakami to kind of get that through to his head and make him fully understand that we see a lot throughout the episodes, and especially this one too, uh, relationship-wise, I guess how he kind of is taking things when it comes to his dad or when it comes to his family life with his mom and everything. We saw at the beginning them talking about how he was extremely fast before. He seemed to like really love running and everything, and then people just kind of started passing him up over time. And this wasn't like the classic like or more simple example of just like other people kind of grew up more and he didn't at the time and then they were able to surpass him in those sort of ways it was more of something where he didn't have shoes that properly fit him he was wearing the same thing for a long time which is probably something a lot deeper than you know they were initially letting on financial things probably regarding the family and him being unable to get anything or anything new with that situation even if that wasn't the case it possibly could have just been him having fear of actually coming forward and asking for stuff and nobody else kind of around him being able to realize that i think nakami constantly blaming himself comes down to like one thing like there's there's only one thing that constantly comes in my mind uh, and it's the idea of something bad happening in the past, like really bad that kind of ruined him as a person and has, as a result, made him blame himself for all the negatives and bad things that go on. And even if it wasn't his past fault, uh, fault before in the past, he continuously always took the blame, maybe because somebody stated it to him, even if it wasn't true. We, I've seen that happen plenty of other times. Or just because he thinks if he didn't do what he did in that moment, or if, if he did something differently, things would have changed. And as a result, he takes the blame for it, as if now he's this like bad luck charm for everybody around them, and all he does is bring misfortune upon others, right? I think his family situation is something that's very telling. And I've been asking every single episode, basically, that I want to learn more about it, and we haven't. 
uh, the fact that we've only seen his mom, it appears now one time. And it was the situation where she was kind of, I guess, looking up at the stars. It was like with him and his dad, I think. And he seemed to be so happy. And we talked about how he was so different before. Some of him was still the same and he took things very serious, but he was a different person still at the end of the day and how he changed so much as he grew. I think what ended up happening is two options. One, his mom either passed away or two, something happened relationship wise between his mom and his dad and his mom's no longer really in his life. And he, Either way, no matter which way you take it, I think he blames himself for the result of kind of what happened. He's taking on that that entire blame, which is why he's kind of turned into the way that he is, why he's overly still serious about everything and why he takes extra precautions when it comes to certain things that he does. And he's trying to avoid kind of being being this negative space for other people or being this person who's going to kind of bring misfortune on others uh the scene where we see he's trying to sleep at night or he's just laying down we kind of get like a reaction out of the way like a dissatisfaction or something when he hears the door kind of turn or unlock which we're assuming is his dad coming home makes me think like it's him constantly being worried or staying up at night and thinking about the things that he can't possibly control the thing about the idea of his mom possibly coming home one day or something like that and he this this thought is constantly running within his mind we talked about how maguri has this specific thing and we talked about last week why she stays up late at night and the things that she the worries the worst situations possible and everything that kind of goes on which is the the lead cause almost for her insomnia and why exactly nakamis actually comes up because we don't know anything about it we really don't know what the deep reason is because she clearly has one and most people who do have something underlying maybe that they can't really tell themselves or fully understand and what exactly his could be and i think his could possibly be him trying to take everything on by himself and him kind of blaming himself also just for the things that he really can't control staying up at night thinking about things that he could have did differently even if he couldn't such as a situation like this if he prepared different and he did something else and he took the blame for it like dude had no options he literally it had to be done today and he couldn't control the fact that it rained and that this came kind of came like the these ideas that he stays up at night thinking about things that he can't change is kind of where my mind is heading about why he's the way that he is and what is kind of constantly keeping his head running and keeping him from falling asleep or kind of relaxing and calming down and that's why him being able to fully be able to express all that stuff and discuss things with Maguri and just listen to her at night kind of allows him to ease up and allow all that stuff to go away which is why it's been so so useful for the both of them because it kind of eases their mind and doesn't force them to think about these negatives and these things that they constantly are almost uses them as a distraction right after he runs away though finding out you know about the rain and they're gonna have to cancel everything because he needs to go cry and just let out his frustrations right uh, everybody kind of sends out a search for him they end up finding him of course it's Maguri that ends up finding him because why wouldn't she uh, she had a very calming I guess response to him by by using the radio show in a way to kind of speak and talk to him uh, in a way that didn't feel as forced or like she was prying for info or trying to get things out and just kind of speaking her own mind right to the point that Nakami kind of just lost it and started breaking down himself but what a beautiful way for them to do it by kind of having this moment at the first place that everything that started right and being able to have this again such as having to hide from the bus uh, in a similar position that they were before right while being able to be open and honest about feelings and everything else that's going on uh, Marguerite almost had a full-blown confession at this point or at least kind of just let him know <laughs> where she's at in a way uh subtly in a way or I guess it wasn't subtle at all she, she was pretty vocal <laughs> Uh, where she's at or how important that he is in a way which is good because now that kind of puts them both on the, the right path right and then we really climax at the moment where you just think everything's going to go right you think the confession's going to finally go on you think you're finally going to get the moment that you're waiting for and it doesn't happen because Gooey ends up being in the background and witnesses this going on and kind of breaks it all up which gets me into the idea of what I absolutely do not like about this episode which kind of ruins that end moment for me is something like that happening I am beyond sick and tired of that stuff happening in mangas and animes where the common just trope of somebody always coming in at the last possible minute and a lot of times too it tends to be the exact same person in these shows and they kind of use it as a comedic relief in a way getting in the way and ruining the moment uh, it's supposed to be something because it's supposed to tease you a few times and then build up to ultimately the moment that it happens but i'm getting sick of that i don't need that <laughs> anymore i need more shows where this stuff kind of happens early on and something like this can happen on an eighth episode like this and then we're able to get like four episodes of everything else that's happening later on that's what i need i need more of that and instead we don't get that because we constantly have the same thing happen within every other show that it's in and it's sickening
it really bothers me. I don't know. I, I, I hate when that happens. Now that all goes out the window. Sure. If you're able to write the actual moment way better than this, which I'm assuming that it probably is. And usually they are in shows. And then you don't really care so much about people getting in the way before, but it just makes you feel like you're robbed of something because then now we have to sit around and things are going to be probably weird between them for a few like episodes or at least the next one or even if they're not weird it's just going to be in the back of their minds the whole time until the moment actually comes up and then it's just like why are we here you know like we this could have been resolved four episodes ago and then we could have you know worked things out together later on but i don't know that's just my upset feelings and everything regarding this situation Ultimately, sometimes when things that you can't control happen, you just got to make the most of the situation and new doors open to different things that wouldn't have happened before. And I think that's that's essentially what we need to focus on this episode. And you kind of need to take that and apply that into everybody's life and me specifically as well. I need to do that and just kind of make the most of the things in, that you're given. And if things kind of come in the way and delay or cancel any plans or just whatever you have going on, just pivot, find a different route to go and make the what you can out of it. Right. Not me being able to still see he has the support of everybody else and they're still willing to help him when december comes around so as long as they can keep this club up and running and everything until then these people aren't disappointed and not blaming him in any sort of ways they know this isn't something that he can't change and can't control I'll let it kind of go and we'll we'll move from there really nice to see be able to have a system of people who kind of work well and support you uh some other mini stuff happened this episode that i'm not really going to go into but definitely had some fun moments some funny moments some just cute things that happen and overall, like I said, many other times enjoying the show a lot. So that's really going to be all for me. I just hope that Nakami kind of gets his shit sorted out. I'm assuming he's going to break down and get everything sorted out. And we're going to have a very similar scene to this would be my guess uh, for how the the climax of this goes. Maybe it'll be reverse and Magari will be the one and Nakami will be able to be there to help him or help her. Uh, or maybe they'll both be kind of expressing themselves openly with with other things that are kind of going on or on their mind and that's kind of kind of how our, our climax scene will end for this season but I, I think we're just heading down more one of those routes regardless I like the show a lot so <laughs> whatever i say i guess it doesn't really matter just enjoying it and i'm very happy to kind of be here so thank you very much if you watched if you liked it all hit the like and subscribe they do really mean a lot to me feel free to check out the other videos on the channel leave any comments about this episode or this series i'll be back for the ninth episode next week though you guys have a good one see ya